What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode four, Rebuilding the Washington Redskins. I am pumped up for this episode, for the beginning of our second season. Quick reminder, please do hit that like button. Also, another plug, if you enjoy my content, my franchise content, remember, I do have a secondary YouTube channel, TFG Plays. That link is in the description below. I upload a lot more franchise content on that channel as well. So if you're unaware of it or you haven't checked it out yet, do head over to TFG Plays. I've got a couple other rebuild series going there as well, both from my online franchises. Uh, so this team right now has a ton of energy, a ton of optimism and hope, probably the most, uh, maybe even more so than, but at least since the Kirk Cousins days here in Washington. We have a really cohesive defense here that really came together down the stretch last year. Landon Collins gets that superstar X Factor ability, although his ability helps other players get their abilities faster and we only have him as our X Factor. So until we get someone else, that's not really gonna make much of a difference. But anyway, we've got a lot of youth on the offensive side of the ball, but it's good youth. We've got Dwayne Haskins, Bryce Love, Terry McLaurin. We get a speedster in Henry Ruggs, who is gonna start here as our number two wide receiver. We got a pretty solid offensive line to say the least. Solomon Kinley, a good rookie pick there out of Georgia. And then defensively, this team really played nice last year. And we're getting a star linebacker in Reuben Foster back. We have a big free agency, uh, free agency signing given Devin McCourty over here and his brother Jason, who we have gone and moved to safety because of the cornerback depth we have. And then our first round pick was Christian Fulton out of LSU, who we're, we're hoping can be a, a great corner here for us. And then I will be kicking Josh Norman into the slot for now, where I actually think he can uh, take advantage of that good run defense. Uh, you know, he doesn't have the best long speed anymore at corner, never really did, but I actually think that's a good fit for him at corner, kind of like what Charles Woodson did late in his career. So in this episode, we're gonna get through the preseason, we're gonna make some additions and some subtractions, and then we're gonna go through the uh, first few weeks of the season. We actually play the Giants twice in the first three weeks. Uh, so as we do our Play the Moments mini game series, three Play the Moments with a maximum of one full drive, that will make up this episode. So first order of business is to sign some, uh, some street talent here. Quarterback, we should be good. We got Alex Smith there as our backup. Running back, we could probably use another body here, just someone to kind of be that relief pitcher here or that third running back. Why not bring Chris Thompson back? We've always liked Chris Thompson. He's ready to go here. Uh, fullback, no one's gonna be an upgrade from what we have in Trey Burton or whatever the Burton we have is. At wide receiver, Alex Erickson's a guy we tried to sign. We do kind of need that steady slot weapon, so we're gonna bring him in here for now. Now, someone recommended that we go ahead and take a look at Zach Paschal, who was on the market. I think he actually got signed, but I do agree he would have been a good fit for us. Uh, tight end, we do need some depth. We're gonna sign Jeff Howerman. And then how about we go ahead and give Vernon Davis an opportunity to make this team. I don't know if he will, uh, because we'll probably keep the other three tight ends, but let's at least bring him back to get that opportunity. Uh, let's see, are there any undrafted sleepers here that we might consider bringing in? Let's go back to wide receiver, Marquez Callaway. Ooh, he actually has a lot of potential here. Let's go ahead and sign the young gun. And how about another one? Clyde Edwards Hilaire, 21 years old, out of LSU, has a hidden development trait. Not sure how he slipped through the cracks, but let's go ahead and bring him in. That's uh, some nice influx of talent there. That's gonna make it hard on Chris Thompson to make the team. Any young linemen we might wanna add for the practice squad, maybe Cole Laval. Alex Leatherwood out of Alabama. We know he'll fit right in here. And how about a North Dakota State boy? All right, on the defense, we definitely need some help on the edge. I don't know if anyone here is really gonna help though. Looks like most of those players got scooped up. Vince Beagle, I don't think he's really a great fit for us. Mario Addison, no thank you. We're gonna have to roll with what we have, it looks like. I'm gonna sign Danny Atkins out of Boise State because we did draft his teammate, Curtis Weaver. So maybe they can replicate the success they had in college together. 
At linebacker, we're, we're pretty solid here. No big upgrades. Uh, we're going to keep scrolling through here. Corner, we have a ton of depth. I don't know if there's anyone really worth adding here. I'm not seeing anyone, so we're going to just stick with the corners we have. At safety, again, we're pretty stacked. Not seeing a ton of exciting young youth here. Young youth? That's redundant. All right, so those are going to be the signings. Last order of business before we advance to cuts is going to be picking our focus players for our training. We're not doing the gold star thing every week, but definitely want Christian Fulton for sure. I think we want to focus on Dwayne Haskins, our quarterback. And then the other guy is uh, Terry McLaurin. Great rookie year, but I want to really push him up towards that superstar range. So those are going to be the three focus players for the season. As far as any trades are concerned, uh, one guy that's on this team that I think I'm going to look into trading here is going to be uh, Paul Richardson. Didn't do really anything for us last year. We went ahead and drafted Henry Ruggs to be that speed replacement. Terry McLaurin, of course, can take the top off the defense as well. He's 28 years old. He's a big cap hit. So we're going to look into trading him to a wide receiver needy team, uh, but maybe a team that has some edge talent. So we're actually going to go right to the Green Bay Packers. They need wide receivers unless they drafted someone. It doesn't look like they did. So they're rolling with Scantling, Equinemius St. Brown. So Paul Richardson would be this team's immediate number two wide receiver, and they have... Uh, it looks like they actually got rid of Kyler Fackrell, so disregard that. That was going to be my target. We're going to have to find something else here. All right, I got a new idea. I don't know if they'll take it or not, but uh, Paul Richardson for Trey Hendrickson. They don't have Ted Ginn there, so they're missing that deep threat element. I think this trade actually makes a ton of sense. It would put them over the salary cap. Of course it would. You're the Saints. Any salary dumps we could take from you? Nick Easton's a $5 million cap hit. We'll eat that for you. Well, they're going to decline it, but to me this is actually a really realistic trade because it clears up cap space for them. It gives them a weapon they really need. A player that they're going to lose anyway that hasn't done a ton for them. So I'm going to intervene and make this trade happen. That's a, a player that we really need some depth at that position. And we can afford the, the one-year cap hit on Nick Easton, although we should confirm that it is just one year. Oh, yikes. It's actually a three-year contract. Never mind. I have no interest in taking that on. Good thing that they were over on salary cap because no thank you. Let's look elsewhere. Um, the Bills would make a lot of sense. They got that strong arm Josh Allen, but they let Foster go. They do have Zach Paschal there. Problem here is they don't really have an edge player we'd be interested in, but maybe we could get a pick for him. Let's keep examining our options here. How about the Seattle Seahawks? They have Metcalf in Lockett, but they are very familiar with Paul Richardson. I'm sure they wouldn't mind taking him back, considering their lack of depth at the position. Let's see if there's any trade targets. Wow, they have Yannick Ngakwe here. They have really refreshed this pass rush. They even signed Bud Dupree. I like the fit here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just try to get a pick for him. I think a fourth round pick is fair for Paul Richardson. And they took it. All right. Good to get that fourth round pick. That was going to be uh, a crowded room as far as cuts go. So I think that's a good move for us. All right. We're going to advance along here. We're going to have some mentor opportunities here along the road, I think. Here's the O-line mentorship, and they're going to focus on Jaron Christian, which is good because Trent Williams is not getting any younger. I actually want to focus on his run blocking here. Trent Williams teaching someone how to use their athleticism to create uh, holes in the zones. That's pretty accurate for Trent Williams' capabilities. We do pick up an injury. This is something we need to avoid. Alex Smith, he's going to go down with a compound foot fracture. That's going to be the end of his career, almost certainly. So we're going to have to place him on the IR. Eligible to return, but that's unfortunate. Just his body keeps overcompensating. Just can't seem to get back. Was really pulling for the guy, but, you know, that's actually pretty realistic. 
So we're going to need a backup quarterback here. Um, anyone we're familiar with that can come in here and know the offense early on? Not really, but Jalen Hurts is available. That's going to be a popular pick. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring Jalen Hurts in and keep on moving. A couple more mentorships. We got the O line again. Jerron Christian getting three awareness. And then a QB mentorship via our punter, Tress Way. Uh, this gives us options. We're going to go with the quarterback. And I think I'm going to focus on breaking sacks for Dwayne Haskins. All right, on to cut week. We will do our upgrades before we do that. So Sweat gets one, that's pretty awesome. I mean, we are gonna rely on him a lot this season. Uh, we'll go with the speed rush here. Because we let Ryan Kerrigan go. We get two finesse moves for Sweat, that's nice. Longtime Pro Bowl player, Ryan Kerrigan on his way out. We tried to re-sign him, but he did get a multi-year deal from the Giants, something we weren't willing to offer. So we're gonna have to supplement that production in other ways. Uh, Greg Stroman, he's kind of buried in the depth chart here, but definitely a talented player. He's going to get a nice looking upgrade here. Man, that is nice. That's going to be making him competitive with Josh Norman in the slot there. Trey Quinn, he's competing for playing time here. He had a really nice year last year. This upgrade's not going to help a whole lot. And poor old Alex Smith. So stats aren't everything, but I do want to take a peek because we've got some competitions going on here. It looks like Trey Quinn really taking that slot wide receiver by storm. I think we got to stick with the man after the production he gave us last year. Not really getting anything from Alex Erickson. He might not make this team. Uh, defensively, the battle is between the linebackers, between... Um, the Bama guy, Hamilton, and Holcomb. Not anything really separating them, so we'll probably go with Hamilton. All right, cut time. We'll go by position. Got to keep Jalen Hurts around. We're going to cut Sean Wilson. We're going to practice squad Craig Reynolds. I'm not sure if we're going to have room for both of these guys. Obviously, we'd rather keep Clyde Hilaire around. We'll keep the fullback. Lots of wide receivers on this roster. You see why we traded away Richardson. Um, I don't think Alex Erickson's going to make this team without Trey Quinn is playing. Unless, actually, you know what? Let's actually practice squad David Sills. I like him. But Calvin Harmon, pretty redundant. I like what we have in Calvin Harmon, so we're going to practice squad Sills. Hopefully we don't lose him because we might call on him later. Uh, as far as tight end goes, I don't think Vernon Davis is going to make this team. On the offensive line, we'll go ahead and practice squad. Well, we'll come back to him. If we have to, we will, but uh, maybe we can get away without it. Uh, let's practice squad Leatherwood. Let's practice squad Allman. Richard Lawrence is going to have to get practice squatted here. He's not a very good pick. Uh, maybe he develops. He's young, but probably not going to happen for him. Uh, I think Jordan Brailford is going to get practice squatted here. Uh, we'll see about the linebackers. We got four right now. We'll go ahead and cut Casanova McKenzie. Cut Simeon Thomas. Danny Johnson, you're going to get practice squatted. Moreland, you're going to get cut. Flying through these. And that leaves us with two cuts left to make. We got a bunch of safeties. Uh, you know, a player I'm going to look into trading here is Monte Nicholson. I think he might be worth something to someone out there for like a future seventh round pick. You know, one of those back end conditional things. He's got some talent. He'd probably get picked up. The Eagles need a free safety. So uh, it is inner division, but he's a guy that we don't think is really going to burn us. Oh, wow. They're way over the salary cap. We got to find someone else who's interested. Uh, the Jags, that'd be a decent fit. They only have a sixth rounder next year but they're going to do it. So we get a sixth rounder next year, and we got one more cut to make. I think it's going to have to be that left guard. Hopefully we don't lose him. All right, on to week one. 
set our season goal. I'm going to aim high to make the playoffs here with this team. we got a lot of energy. Let's do it. We're going to do our upgrades. I'm going to run through our depth chart as well. Ooh, McLaurin and Dwayne Haskins are two focus players. So we're going to go route runner for Terry. Gets an agility boost and three release. Love to see it. Dwayne Haskins. We're going to go improviser. Hell of an upgrade for Haskins. All right. So I'll do my depth chart. You guys know for the most part who we're going with here. I'll just stop along the way if there's any question marks. Probably some intrigue as to the wide receiver situation. So we are going to play Ruggs as our number two with that speed on the edge. And then we're going to play Trey Quinn in the slot. We'll make Kelvin Harmon our fourth. Uh, and that's going to be how the wide receiver situation is going to shake down. The cornerback situation drawing some intrigue. Dunbar had a good year for us. He's going to be the number one. We're going to have Fulton be the number two. And then Josh Norman is going to be our nickel corner. And then we got a ton of depth at corner. JoJo Ward is going to take over our punt returning duties. You know, we drafted the guy. Might as well get him to play a role on this team. And the rest should be pretty straightforward. So we're dealing with Saquanda this week. We're going to disregard him. He's only a running back. And away we go. It's three play the moments and a maximum of one full drive against our divisional opponents. Let's go. This will be a big year in the Haskins versus Jones saga in the NFC East. We're off to a good start, up 7-0, but the Giants are driving. And let's help keep this a low-scoring game. Let's show off our defensive capabilities here. It's first and 10. They're going run, get the man, get the man. Good job, good job. Let's go into the second quarter. Oh, there we go. Good stop. 51. Is that Hamilton? Yes, it is. All right, we're going to bring a little blitz here. Oh, good play. No touchdown, though. It's Marcus Mariota here. They replaced Daniel Jones already. Year one must have been a disaster. They want to return to the, uh, the Patrick Mahomes strategy, maybe. There we go. They also gave him number 10. So the whole realism element off to a great start here. <laughs> Thanks, Madden. I just assumed that was Manning wearing number 10 with the M. Oh, we got it. That's McCordy. Let's go. We get the stop. The defense comes away with it. Distracting from Madden's silliness to celebrate a defensive takeaway in the red zone that was epic all right uh continue to next moment we are one for one in our little mini game third down let's keep going uh-oh they go down and tie it third down take the drive I'll keep the drive alive two minute drill get some points we're backed up on our own four uh, do we trust myself to be able to get that done probably not we're gonna skip that chance uh-oh, 14-7. The offense has got to wake up here. Here we go. Red zone alert. Second and five. Decent run. It's going to take us to the fourth quarter. We need a touchdown here. This is definitely four-down territory. Get it, get it, get it. There you go, Reed. Good job. It's good to still have you around. Haskins having a pretty decent day. 13 of 21. Just got to finish drives. Come on, Terry, beat that slant. Wow, that coverage on that was intense. 
I don't know who the corner was that pressed Terry McLaurin out of his shoes, but good for you. Oh, I like how this looks. I like how this looks. Keep running. Oh, nice throw on the move, Haskins, and a touchdown for Henry Ruggs in his first NFL game. Woo! What a throw by Dwayne Haskins. Nice, baby. Whew, look at that zip. Love the cam angle. All right. Come on, defense. Oh, boy. All right, here's our good opportunity. Oh, we're in the red zone. First and 10. Be quiet day there for love. Is this a zero? It is. Oh, rugs. Gotta run that route a little sharper, please. Gosh, are they coming again? We gotta hot route this in case this is a quick blitz. Nope, no blitz. Oh no, we fumble it. Come on, Haskins. Oh, not looking good. If the defense gets a stop. All right, we got a drive opportunity. We're going to play it for entertainment's sake. Throw it away. Throw it away, Haskins. Yikes. You don't need to set your feet to throw it away. This Giants pass rush is waking up. taken over here it looks like it might not matter we might be dropping the first game of the year here boys send it oh we're gonna get a bailout call Giants fans are not gonna be happy about that one I'm not impressed with how our offensive line is playing in this one Oh, what a throw and catch. We gotta go, though. Sneaks it over the defender. What a play call. Go, Trey Quinn. Stiff arm him. Yes! Heading to overtime, baby. Thanks to a huge bailout penalty, but this is the NFL. It happens. Uh, let's... Uh, I don't, I don't want to risk losing our overtime playage here. That's fine. We'll give that up. So we're hopping in on overtime. I'm not sure quite what happened, but we're already backed up. Must have been a good kick return. Good tackle. Jeez. Saquon. Oh my god. We got some problems with our run defense. Saquon ran for, or uh, Zeke run for, ran for 300 yards in the last game last year. Now in the next game, Saquon's got over 200. Granted on 35 carries, but. Oh no. Oh no. Gotta get back. Jeez. Well, Madden really not doing this rebuild a whole lot of favors. That's not anything new, but we've got running backs running for 300 yards. We've got the Giants giving up on Daniel Jones already. we got Mitch Trubisky winning MVP last year. Other than that, this rebuild's been super realistic. That and every rookie wearing two different pairs of shoes. Get there. Oh, my God. Well... Marcus Mariota and the Giants go to 1-0. I'm going to have to interfere to make Daniel Jones the starter somehow because that's just dumb. We'll just pretend he got injured and Mariota was their backup plan. Well, we fall at the heels of the dumb NFL overtime rules yet again. Saquon Barkley was unstoppable. Trey Quinn, though. How about that for Trey Quinn? Henry Ruggs. 
Something about Trey Quinn at that 68 overall just gets the job done. Sean Dion Hamilton, a great game. Let's see, we had that one pick for Devin McCourty. So it wasn't all bad, but a tough road loss. But we're going to see these guys again in a week. For now, all I can really do is create a Giants coach and manually put Daniel Jones as the starter. All right, so a tough loss to start the year, not the end of the world. Haskins did play pretty well. That big fumble at the end definitely hurt. Um, but we've got Kyler Murray this week, so the trifecta of just rookie. It's like a round robin, basically. We do have Patrick Peterson this week. He's still a big impact here. Uh, we are going to disregard him again and just not throw his way. Or not make mistakes when we do throw at him, at least. But we are going to go ahead and simulate this game. It's the home opener. Fingers crossed. Come on, Redskins. Don't disappoint. Ugh, another tough loss. 24-21. to 21. We are so close. Haskins is playing pretty clean. Kyler just killed us. Got to get this run game going a little more. Trey Quinn, though. What a story. Don't know why he plays so well, but he gets the job done. We do get a sweat uh, sack from Sweat and Ionitis. No picks. So 0-2, not the end-all, be-all. We can bounce back. We got the Giants at home, and then we play the Niners the next week after a bye. We do get a bunch of upgrades here. A bunch of upgrades. Wow. Hopefully that can help us climb to two and or one and two. Ooh, Fulton's going up a couple here. Nice upgrade. Fabian Moreau says, don't forget about me. He's going to get three-man coverage on that one. That's right. Apke, he's still waiting in the wings. We haven't given up on him yet, but he was just not ready. And that's a terrible upgrade. That's not going to help his case. Ooh, oh my goodness. Can you say cheat code? A speed boost for Henry Ruggs? Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's turn this season around right now. Giants are driving and we get a stop. Red zone opportunity, here we go. Let's put this thing in. Second and five. Changes to an RPO. Just can't get the ground game going. All right, cover two. Let's split the seam read. Oh, man. That linebacker. Really good drop there by 47. And then the spy took away the slant. That was really nice. And Ryan Kerrigan. Gets his revenge with the Giants. That's actually super realistic, to be honest. They may have replaced Daniel Jones and given him Mariota and given him Eli Manning's number, but that's pretty realistic. An interdivision signing when they did have an offer on the table to stay, but for less money. Uh, so defense needs a stop. Let's trust it. They break. I don't know what happened on that drive. Defense needs another stop. Come on. Good job, good job. That keeps us alive. Give me a red zone a look. There we go. All right, let's tie this thing up. First and 10. This has got to be a blitz. Let's just get it to Trey Quinn. Or maybe Terry McLaurin. Get in. Let's go. Needed to wake Terry up. He's had a quiet year. All right, one opportunity left. Let's keep trusting this. Uh, they give up a touchdown, but do hold him to a, uh, stop the PAT. Oh, man. Come on, Redskins. We got to trust this and hope we get our full drive opportunity later. They go field goal. Okay, let's take over here. Technically, this isn't our next drive, but let's play the punt. You guys want to block? All right. 
We got three minutes, we can milk this clock down and take the lead with no time left. That would be ideal. And would be the ideal close to this episode as well. Good job, Ruggs. See, Haskins is doing decent. Let's run one more play here before the two minute. There you go, love. There you go. All right. Lots of time. There you go, love. Oh, what happened there? We got to go hurry up. If they're not going to set up to stop this run. We might as well keep going. Although I like the slant here to Terry. Go down. Let's call timeout. Boy's got to be getting tired. Oh, geez, that was almost high. Hurry up. We're gonna keep an eye on that slot. If he drops with Terry, uh, with Trey Quinn, we're gonna throw it to McLaurin. He does not. Let's just take this. Nice drive. Nice drive. Let's keep going. Don't necessarily want to keep flipping it like this. It's costing us time. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Whew, that was lucky. <laughs> we keep flipping the play around. I get my buttons confused. Technically, that wasn't the worst throw to throw that seam against the or the streak against the cover two, but we definitely got lucky there. 32 seconds. We got. Two timeouts. Henry Ruggs, if he gets one-on-one -on -one here, we're going to take that. Oh, come on. Oh, good play by the D-back. Okay, third and ten. Ugh. I'm going to keep Thompson in the block. There you go. Trey Quinn just moves the sticks for us. It was right in your hands, dude. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Love, you're going to block. Go get it, McLaurin. Oh, man. Do still the timeout. Oh, Trey Quinn. Trey Quinn, let's go with the walk-off. Oh, man. Trey Quinn has turned himself into our Adam Thielen. We just got to make this PAT to seal the deal. Oh, they're going to ice the PAT. Don't choke, Marcus. Felt good about it. And it's through. We're going to play this to prevent any funny business. Trey Quinn already has four touchdowns on the year. He's been going off every single week, and that was clutch. If he doesn't get a breakout, we're going to have to intervene because we talked about doing that already at the end of last year. Madden has been screwing him with the XP. Guy's clearly better than a 68 overall. Oh my God. <laughs> my heart just, just skipped about three beats every time that ball bounced. <laughs> well, Dwayne Haskins having a hell of a season. Barkley killed us again. We gotta get this ground game going. Look at Trey Quinn. He's gonna be like leading the league in receiving yards. Jonathan Allen gets hurt in this game. That's not going to help. So Eric Bieniemy gets his first win as a head coach heading into the bye week. We're going to have a big game against the Niners week five. We might use our offensive playage for that one. 
Uh, but until next time, please do hit that like button. Cheers, everyone. We'll see you for the next one.